They have received an official apology and promises of compensation for the shameful way they were treated. But the box they're delivering to Downing Street contains 130,000 signatures, calling on the government to match its words with action. I don't trust them. I feel as if if I don't continue on to them, they're going to forget about what they owe us. Glenda Caesar is part of the Windrush generation, whose family answered the call to rebuild Britain after the war. Dad came first, and then um, myself, my aunt and my mother came over to meet my... The little girl who only knew Britain as home grew up to work in the NHS and civil service until the Home Office said she couldn't prove her British citizenship and, and couldn't work. And then for you to just reject me like that, it hurt. I contemplated suicide at one time because I just didn't feel like anyone was listening. She hasn't worked since 2009 and rejected an offer of £22,000 compensation. For them to even offer me that, I just thought, that's you're insulting me. It was 72 years ago today the Windrush docked at Tilbury with the first 400 Jamaican citizens starting new lives in Britain. Prince Charles says it's a date in the calendar that should be celebrated. Above all, to recognise the immeasurable difference that they, their children and their grandchildren have made to so many aspects of our public life. From the Home Secretary, a promise tonight to right recent wrongs. That work is ongoing. Uh, you know, I have apologised several times and I will always apologise to those that have had their lives blighted by what happened. What happened was wrong. Glenda Caesar wants more than promises. Change your systems, pay the compensation and just do the right thing. Only then, when those who suffered through admitted Home Office failings have their justice, will she feel Windrush Day can be celebrated. Paul Davis, ITV News.